The question of the central Christian claim that Jesus is God become human is, of course, a fascinating one for any scientist. And very frequently, uh, people react with a certain amount of incredulity when they discover, I, I believe this. And they say, how could you possibly believe in the 21st century as a scientist that Jesus was God? I remember being asked this once at a large gathering of physicists who'd come to hear me lecture on the relationship of science to theology. And one physicist after the lecture said, how could you possibly believe this? It's all very well talking about the fine-tuning argument and evidence that there's an intelligence behind the universe. But come off it. This is going way beyond to assert that the God who designed the universe and who upholds it actually became human. Can you explain it? And I grinned and said, yes, but I want to ask you a question first. He said, that's fine. I said, my question's much simpler. It's this, what is consciousness? Oh, he said, we don't really know what consciousness is. Well, I said, okay, let's try something simpler and something that comes near to the realm of physics. What is energy? And he said, ah, yes, well, energy is something we know a lot about. We can measure it, we can use it, and so on. We can convert it into different forms. I said, but that's not my question. My question is, what is it? He said, well, we don't really know. Well, I said, it's good to hear that, because at least it shows you agree with the Nobel Prize winner for physics, Richard Feynman, who said, nobody knows what energy is. I said, you believe in these things, and yet you don't know what they are. Should I write you off as a physicist? He said, please don't. I said, of course I won't, but you get my point. I suspect you were about to write me off as an intelligent person because I believed in something which, if it's true, of course, is infinitely more sophisticated and complex than the things that we're just talking about. But it helps us into the whole question because the reason you believe in consciousness and energy, even though you cannot understand very much about what they actually are, is because of their explanatory power. They make sense of various things that you observe. And I said it's exactly the same, of course, at a deeper or perhaps a higher level with my faith that Jesus is both God and man. It's the only solution that makes sense. That he is a man is not difficult, of course, but it's that he is both God and man. And I believe that that makes sense of the evidence, evidence of his life, the uniqueness of his claim, which he backed up by showing that he possessed the attributes of God, and above all, I suppose the central thing that I find convincing is the fact that he rose from the dead. He's broken the death barrier. But of course, to go into those details is a completely separate argument.